Hello, welcome back to Cattail Talks. And, well, we're doing a reevaluation today. Really, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff on this channel. Like, it's been almost a month now, but I'm actually thinking about what I've done, and it's come across as very negative, I've noticed. I don't want to be somebody who just complains. So we're having a little reevaluation today of priorities. I want to be somebody like I'm offering constructive criticism, yes, but at the same time, I feel I'm coming across as a bit negative. So what I want to do today is kind of just talk a little bit about, well, what we're going to be doing. Obviously, this is a very new channel, and it's not something I've really done before. Obviously, I live stream, but live streaming, I don't have to really sit down and talk to, well, I don't really have to talk about something the whole time. I get to react, I get to do other things. It's not just the whole weight of everything is on me. It comes down to, in all honesty, just, I feel that maybe I'm just missing the mark a little bit sometimes, to put it that way. Maybe it's just a personal thing. Maybe I'm doing better than I think I am, but when I look at what I've put on this channel so far I see well I see a lot of me but I also see a lot of what isn't me a lot of just outside influence kind of clouding who I am and what I want to do Cattail Talks was never supposed to be like this big thing it was just meant for me to Disclose my thoughts on certain things. Like, you know, my thoughts on PUZ2. And how that works. But, I feel like it's almost changed in goal. Just instantly. It almost feels like now, it's supposed to be Cattail does talking about random stuff. And plays stuff in the background, and I mean, like, it's not like anybody's super watching this anyway. But the the point still stands that I don't feel like I am having a wonderful time doing this. I mean, I'm a, I'm allowed to express myself and what I think, and that's good. But overall, it almost feels like. When I do this, when I just sit down to talk, I'm taking stuff with me. And I don't exactly even know what that stuff is or what I'm really saying, but what I think I'm trying to get at here is Cattail Talks is about just discussing things. And having a good time doing so. And if I can't have a good time myself, then, well, how am I supposed to provide a good time for other people? So, starting with this video, you're probably going to see a lot less gameplay in the background of these. And you might feel the overall change in the videos. My thoughts are not articulated. These are not scripted. It's very difficult to kind of express my thoughts. I do these in one take, which probably isn't my best idea, but it's kind of just who I am. I'm best. I work my best when I do things for the first time, I think. I can improve, but at the same time, I always feel like there's some of that magic that's missing. 
as somebody who's been streaming for almost two years now, yet hasn't really gotten a following, I know, like, a lot about doing a lot of work and it not extremely paying off, but, well, I can make a couple people's days better, so, you know, I think that's good enough for me. Realistically, though, the entire point of this video is not to say uploads will slow down or that I'm going to completely change what I'm doing. It's that I want to be more cattail in these videos. I don't want to just like talk about something and be like, oh yeah, this is how it is, that's how it's going to be. I don't want to just do what I did with the PvZ2 videos and have a history lesson. What I did with the last one, with the Reclaimer Trilogy. The fun for me is providing criticism and, you know, giving suggestions on how to improve. Because I'm a writer. I'm a very creative person. I guess the way to say it is I'm an artist. And as an artist who views other people's work and their own work, it can be difficult sometimes to uh, provide things from a place of genuine criticism instead of just being like, oh, I'd do that better. Because a lot of the art I make is based off of that. And that is not exactly a healthy mindset to have. So, going off of all of that, I think probably the smartest thing going forward would just be to take it as it comes. To have everything just... Oh. I definitely think that, uh... For a little while, at least, things are gonna be a little bit weird around here, but... I guarantee that things will get, if not n normal, they'll get better. I want to be better at this. So, I just want to do what I can and do my best. And, you know, if nobody sees these videos, if they get like three views in 17 years, then so be it. But those three views, those three people who sat down and watched this video, well, that should be enough for me. And if it's ever not, then, well, I'm doing something wrong. I think I messed up on this photo. I can't go back anymore. No. Oh, well. See, I'll make mistakes. I'll make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes I'll have to start over. But, well, I'll keep getting back up. I'll keep trying. And, well, if I can make the world better for one person, then I'll have considered it fulfillment. Life is difficult. Life is hard. But one thing I've learned in all my time is that life doesn't rule you. You shouldn't let it. No, what you should do is just roll with the punches. And if you can find a reason to do the things you love, then do them. No matter what they say. No matter what you think you're doing wrong. I mean, like, as long as those things aren't, like, morally questionable in terms of anything. Like, I, I don't think murder. I don't condone that. But, uh, why do I have to clarify these things? But, th see, little, little dark jokes like that. That's what I want to do. I want to have more cattail here. I don't want to just be like, 
oh, media analysis, blah, 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 uh, pessimism, everything's bad and I'm better, or whatever, ego moment. No. I may have an ego, but like, I don't want the ego to be my defining characteristic. Because, well, that's not who I am. I just want to offer my genuine thoughts and concerns. And if those thoughts and concerns end up matching what other people think, then so be it. If they don't, then, well, it is what it is. Realistically, I'm going to stumble a bit. There's going to be times where I mess up, or I say something stupid. Obviously, I will not, like, say anything offensive, or, like, just... Well, I probably will say something offensive, but not, like, racist or anything. That That's, like, too far. I don't even swear. But I'll mess up. Maybe I just do the wrong thing, or I make somebody upset, and, well, there we go. It is what it is. But self-improvement does not come from stagnation. Being stagnant, however, however you want to say it. Self-improvement comes from trying over and over and over. And I said like a few minutes earlier that I do my best work when I'm trying it for the first time. But the thing is, is that even though these videos aren't planned, I want to improve in non-video aspects or even in video aspects you know everything that i've done so far on this channel on the streams even on the jukebox even though the channel's been dead in the water it's all been for one purpose to entertain And if I can entertain just one person, make one person's life better. If I can just be myself and that's enough, then, well, that's what we should all strive for, really. Being ourselves is very difficult sometimes. You can find complications. You can always find something about yourself that you don't like. If you look for the flaws the flaws will make themselves more apparent. But, well, if you just do what you love, and that's what you do. Cath Hill Talks is not meant to be like this super uh, deep introspection. It's not meant to be like me parading around and being like, oh yeah, I'm going to do all of this because uh, whatever. I'm going to do all this because I'm, I think I'm better or I think... I can do things better. Well, I always think I can do things better, but that's not what I mean. You know what I mean. Ketzel Talks is meant to be not even just an expression of who I am or what I think, but I think it's supposed to just be a space to talk about things, to be real without having to be depressive. Because the, the reality of it is, is that you can be very negative, but the world isn't a an extremely awful place. We like to make it out to be. And yeah, there are awful things, and it sometimes feels like it's overwhelming. Sometimes feels like, you know, we do this to uh, escape. And, well, we do. But at the same time, we also need to acknowledge that uh, escapism is... 
only a part of everything. And it doesn't exactly showcase who we are. But if we could be a little bit more true to ourselves, or just do something more, then... Well, this is supposed to be a positive space, I think. Well, it's a critical space, but also a positive one. It's supposed to be real. It's supposed to be how we feel, not just cynical, but also appreciative of the things we care about. Like... One of the reasons I criticize uh, Planets for Zombies and Halo so much is that I love them. I love those series. They helped make me into who I am today. But, well, the way they are now, it becomes easier to uh, be negative. It's easy to be negative, I think. I mean, you could probably guess from the picture I'm drawing right now. Negativity. But also... Well, the picture I'm drawing... Is for a song. Parody of Megalovania, obviously made for me. Cat Sylvania. But... The, the whole reason... That songs like that exist is because... Even though it seems hopeless, there's something to do. There's some way to stay positive. There's something to fight for. Even when it feels like there's nothing left. Can I really just turn this into a seminar about like an Undertale song that I made a parody of? Yes, I did. Why am I like this? Well, kind of happy I'm like this, though. That's the kind of stuff I want to say. Even my own self-criticism. It can be funny. It can be depressing, but it can also be funny. And, uh... Entertainment's the name of the game, I suppose. I like it. I like just being able to speak what I want to speak. And have it exist in this space. I mean, YouTube was all about you it's called youtube it's about you being yourself it isn't supposed to be this corporatization or anything similar to that it's supposed to be self-expression and i want to do more of that i want to self-express to be who i am in a genuine way and if I make really stupid jokes, then that's who I am. And, well, that's what we do. That's what we'll do here. I think there's something special to be said about just the authenticity of certain people. How much you can look up to them. And you can see them as who they are. And want to be like them. Because, well, we all have our role models. And even though we feel, we feel we'll never live up to them, maybe one day we'll be the role model for someone else. And they feel they can never live up to us. So, you know... Maybe it's not as unobtainable as it seems. Or maybe, you know, I'm just like... <laughs> saying all this. For absolutely zero reason. And nothing will change. But you don't know that. I don't know that. Nobody knows. We'll know one day. And then maybe I'll come back to this video and be like, Wow, I'm so bad at articulating my thoughts. And I'll be like, I still am bad at articulating my thoughts. So we'll have reached just uh, status quo once again. Well, but until then, this has been Cattail. I'll see you next time.